Good morning, everybody. How you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing good. Welcome back to the makeup chair. Today, I am starting a new series on my channel. I am decluttering my makeup collection. And I'm really hopeful that this is going to free it up so I can get more creative and be less overwhelmed with the amount of stuff. So we're gonna go through everything. It's probably gonna take some time, but I'll show you the whole process. And I love watching these, so I hope that you guys will enjoy watching mine as well. And if you have any tips or anything, let me know. But let's get started. I'm so excited for this. I just wanna be free. So I'm starting off with this drawer. This has all my kind of prepping products. So not my skincare, but like some of my skincare, mostly my primers and some setting sprays as well. But this is just such a mess and I can't find anything. So let's go through it and kind of figure out what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna give away. So starting off with the Issa Laurent Pure Shots. So we have the Light Up Serum. This is great for brightening the skin and it gives the skin a kind of a sheen so that the skin tone looks a little more even. Then we have the Y Shape Serum, which is a firming product. Great for over 30s, unless you feel like you need it, but I'm not a fan of using firming products in anyone under 25. And then we have the Night Reboot Serum. This is a liquid exfoliator, great for prepping the night before makeup. Don't use this right before makeup because it's going to work underneath those layers of makeup and make it disappear. Moving on, we have the Bondi Sands Glow. So these can be mixed with your foundation or it can be worn alone, but I actually love it for the body because it doesn't transfer too much onto your clothes and it gives your skin a beautiful glow. So I love these. Next up, we have some of my favorite highlighting products by Lancome. So I have the Click and Glow and then I have the Custom Highlighting Drops. And these do something slightly different and they're also in slightly different tones as well. So the click and glow ones are best for bare skin or over makeup. I find under foundation, you miss some of that glow. However, the custom highlighting drops can be used under, over, or mixed with your foundation and you still get that beautiful glow. So I just have two of the shades here, but they also had a midnight glow when it was great for paler skin. I do have a drugstore alternative. This is the Sleek Bear Kissed Illuminator. The reason I have two of these is because one of them is mine and then one of them is for my kit. Though the Lancome one was slightly better, I love this for paler skin because in the winter, over my skin, I don't want it to have like a yellow or a golden tone, which a lot of highlighters do. So for more of the paler skins, that can look kind of sickly. Whereas with this one, it just makes my skin look glowy. So great one for paler skin. Moving on, we have travel friendly or kit friendly highlighters. These are by Issa Laurent. These are the Touche Cla Glow Shots. These are similar to the other ones by Lancome. I use these in my kit though because they're so light and easy to carry around with me. So great for traveling with, great for bringing in your bag. You can mix these or you can use them alone. You can apply them over, under. They work kind of on mature skin as well. They're not too heavy on the skin. They don't have that kind of a glittery finish. I just love these. I think that they're such a beautiful product. Really easy to use as well. These were in my makeup kit and I didn't get to use them that much. So I am going to be keeping them, even though they're technically gone off at this stage, you know, liquids don't last that long, but I'm going to be using these primers as examples for like visual teaching. So I'm going to be using these because they allow me to explain all about primers because each individual one does something different. So it's a great kind of teaching tool. So they're not going to go to waste. Even, even though the product inside is going to go to waste, I can still use it as an example. These are the Issa Laurent primers. And again, these are perfect visuals to explain what primer shades do. We have the blue one for sallow skin, orange for deeper skin, pink for the paler skin. These are lovely to use, but they add that little something extra. I love these. Now for my own daily prep and prime, I use Urban Decay. I have the Ultra Matte for hot days. I don't use it that often. And then I only have a small amount of the glow one left because I love it, I use it every day. And then I have my primers. I have the All Nighter, which I use through the center, and then the glow one everywhere else. For no makeup days, I use the Prep and Matte by Lancome. These help with shine and evening out the texture. And then it also adds a lot more hydration to my skin. So just great for under makeup or on bare skin. I love it under mineral foundation in particular. 
I also keep my fancy skincare in here as well. These are more for special occasions or on clients. This one removes makeup. I don't use it that often, but it is a dream to use. The Pure Shot is perfect for evening out the skin. So it's like a toner or an essence, and it can be used before makeup in order to hydrate the skin and cleanse the skin without disturbing the skin too much. It's great for bridal prep. And then we also have this product, which is great for oily skin prep. It's a mousse and it hydrates the skin without overloading the skin. Great for long wear skin prep or even used on the body for some light hydration as well. More Urban Decay and I have the Rehab Prep. So this is a lightweight moisturizer. I have the Pure Refine Peel, which I haven't used that often. So I'm going to have to put it into my use up pile because it is going to eventually go off. The Meltdown Makeup Remover, this stuff dissolves your makeup. It's great for heavy makeup or for just spraying onto like a little cotton pad if you need to just remove any little makeup mistakes. What you don't want to do is to get this confused with a setting spray, which is exactly what I did this one time. I mistakenly sprayed my face with my makeup remover instead of my setting spray. So that was a fun day. This is actually one of my favorite setting sprays. It's great for everyday use, not too heavy, but it just helps my makeup to last. I also have my hydration spray in here, a water spray that I love because the mist is so beautiful. Just a really handy little products to have. Now this box has stuff that I don't use that often. So we have the Benefit Matte Rescue. I'm gonna give this away. I'm actually gonna give it to my mom because she loves it. And then I have some products that I use for drugstore videos. So I have the Flormar one. This is great for correcting pink tones in the skin. I, again, I don't use it that often. I, might give it away. I have the L'Oreal BB cream. I used to use this so much. I don't know why I stopped, but I'm pretty sure this is going to go out of date. The CC cream in lavender. This is great for paler, warmer skin. Again, I don't use it that often, but it is nice to have. The Essence Primer, which is a little too drying for my skin, so I'm going to be giving that away. I loved this a few years ago. It's so glowy, but again, I don't use it that often, so I might have to give that away. Then I have the number seven airbrush away. I liked this at the start. And I think that number seven actually have amazing primers. I just didn't end up liking this that much. So this is my favorite body highlighter. It was limited edition. I don't know why they stopped making it, but oh my gosh, it's lovely. It just, oh, I love this shade. The Urban Decay Illuminating Mix in Medium. I love this for the winter, so I'm gonna be keeping that. This one is by L'Oreal. I've used up half the bottle. I love it. I'm pretty sure it's out of date, but it was so lovely to use. I highly recommend it, particularly coming into the winter months. You want to add that glow back to your skin. Catrice Primer, again, I don't use that often. Uh, I might give this away. It is lovely to use though. The Gigi Collection, I loved these. They're definitely out of date by this stage. They were a slight kind of tinted bronzer. I just love the way that it makes the skin look. It just made the skin look like just really glowy and bronzy. I don't know if other brands do this, and sadly it's definitely out of date by this stage, but I loved it. Just wish I had the chance to use it more often. And then I have these last two. This is the Flormar Primer, which I love, and this, LOV. I have been trying everywhere. Trying online, I've tried every store trying to find out this setting spray because it's the best setting spray I have ever used in my whole life. If you have a chance to get this, seriously, give it a go. It makes your makeup last so much. I have never had a setting spray so amazing. I absolutely love it. I'm using like the last few sprays for like special occasions, but I can't find it anymore. This next product I actually got for going on holiday, which we, we all know that never ended up happening. So this is a three in one. It's an instant bronze. It also has a build up fake tan inside it, and it has an SPF as well. As you can see, it's gone kind of a greeny tint, which means it's gone off. And I only got to use it a few times, which was such a shame. If only I'd been able to go on holiday. So now that I know what I'm kind of keeping and what I'm giving away, I'm going to start putting these into the drawer. I'm using these little drawer liners. They're going to stop the products moving around. And I kind of built my own little makeshift like storage area, which is only temporary because I'm hoping to order some cooler, better, nicer ones. So let's just put everything that we're keeping back in the drawers. So 
So that's all the decluttering that I'm going to do today. Make sure to check the information box and I'm also going to like link it on the screen to see the other videos in this series. I hope that you enjoyed it. As always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.